Happy Monday. Uh, but what I can say is, hey, welcome to Domain to Profit. I'm glad to have you here. I really am. I'm glad to have you here, especially when you're joining me live, which hopefully you are. Live is the way to watch uh, Domain to Profit. And uh, so I'm glad to have you here live. I am uh, ah, been playing with everything, all these different gizmos and gadgets and pushing lots of buttons. I was, thought I had a new new thing for you, but it's going to have to wait till next week. Just did not go well. Anyhow, well, if you're watching on Restream, as I already mentioned, live is the way to join us because there's a great community that joins us in the chat each week. And if you are part of that community, make sure you say hi and welcome any of the uh, people that are kind of lurking in the shadows, uh, just wanting to, to say something. But at the same time, you know how it is. We all just kind of like to chill a little bit and not draw too much attention to ourselves. Okay. Well, <laughs> except for if you're me, I guess I, I have a freaking camera pointed at my face. Maybe I am looking for attention. Anyway, I, I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place. Well, here on Domain to Profit, let's get back to basics. We're, we get together each Monday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to look through domains that are expiring and find the best ones for development, the best domain names that we can take, do something with. Maybe it's something that's common. Maybe it's something that, uh, in my case, that I've done a bunch before, and maybe it's something different. Maybe it's something that we've never done before or that would be unique to you or some unique to the domain name. Either way, we're going to see domain names that are only available this week, only available this week. Like, they have expired, and they are going through an auction process to where anyone can get them. Just because I'm here on this show, just because I'm the one showing them to you, does not mean that I have any kind of edge whatsoever to win these domain names. In fact, uh, I, in many cases, as you know, give away what I'm bidding on and how much I'm bidding on. So just one of the benefits of watching the show is you'll know what I'm bidding in some cases. So, uh, but needless to say, all the opportunities are available to you as much as they are to me. So uh, today we're going to be looking through expired domain names. We're going to be looking for some that we can, uh, you know, purchase, develop, and they'll be available for you to buy at auction and do the business that we discuss or do your own spin on it. Make it your own. Uh, then also I will share... Uh, I did end up buying, I believe, at least one of the domain names that we talked on last show, uh, last week's show, for thousands of dollars. So I'll share that out later on in the show as well uh, if you're curious about that. So say hi in the chat. Make sure everybody knows you're here. I see lots of, I see a few new faces already popping in. This is Drew Wash, Domain to Profit. See you just after this. From Domain to Profit, Domain to Profit, from a dot com to a business idea. Take your domain name, develop an income from Domain to Profit, we'll show you how. Domain to Profit, from Domain to Profit, join Drew Wash and get started right now. All righty, well... Uh, thank you for everybody that's joining in. I do see some uh, some new new names. Let me jump down through these. Uh, well, we have a dot. I get that's just a placeholder. That's just like boom. I'm here. I'm present. Yeah, I see you. I see you there. Uh, and then we got Fred. Thanks for joining in. Best part of Monday. Oh, you know I appreciate that. And I you may be talking about the show, maybe not. But domain names in this couple hours that I have, both before the show, during the show with you. And as I kind of close things down afterwards, uh, they're, they're my favorite hours of my entire week because, yes, I get to focus on domain names. O outside of this, uh, I have to do the normal business stuff. Like, uh, like I have to concentrate on marketing and sales and all the operations of my businesses. Uh, so this is truly like that, that little time, that group, a couple hours that I get to focus on domains, domain development and all of the domain communities that, that join me here. So thank you, and I agree. It's the best part of my Monday. Uh, Lee, nice to have you here. And uh, I have coffee. Uh, maybe Lee has coffee. I don't know. Is that is that coffee or, or wine in your glass, Lee? And speaking of Lee, I just want to give a shout-out and just say thank you. Lee is one 
of the community members that uh, does hit my DMs over on uh, Twitter and shares feedback and ideas for Domain to Profit, uh, which Lee, I just want to let you know, thank you so much. I do appreciate that. And, uh, you know, we're going to improve. We're going to make keep making changes and possibly some API stuff that uh, Lee is a developer uh, that is potentially going to help out with things. So thank you, Lee. Uh, Dominic, nice to have you here. Howdy and hello. And uh, same for you, Ian. Hello, everyone. Uh, thanks for saying hi in the chat and letting everybody know that you're here. Uh, and there we go. We got the, we got the howdy, Fred. Dominic. Yes, uh, instead of the dot. The dot was just to show that she was first. But uh, let me see here. And Matt, uh, howdy, guys and gals. And thank you, uh, Stuart. Wow, we got okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna try off to pe speed this up. First time. Like, boom, first timers, thanks for joining us live. Uh, always a blast to have you here. And uh, uh, Ram's cat grabbing us from LinkedIn, which is always fun as well. And I appreciate you welcoming everybody there. I see lots of welcomes coming in from the community sharing and, and welcoming Stuart and so on. Uh, then Michael as well, longtime viewer. Thank you for joining us. Well, uh, we have lots to do over, and I'm going to be looking down at my screen just a little bit. I want to get some things set up as far as logins to domain auctions. So I want to be able to show you what it is that I bid on last week. Uh, as you likely know, my, you know, part of what I do is I will sometimes bid live right here on the show, even showing you my max bid sometimes. Uh, other times, I'll just reflect and show you what I bought or what I lost out on last week. So uh, looking down, getting that set up a little bit. Well, hopefully the screens are set up because we're going to go out to, and there it is, expireddomains.net. Uh, and expireddomains.net, you'll see it up in the URL, uh, the, uh, the web address. Yeah, expireddomains.net is where we are. You will need to set up a free account here, all free, great company, great little website, uh, free to use. Uh, the reason why you will need to set up a free account is if you want to use the filters, which I already have my filter set up here. And as you probably know, I don't have the video out there yet, but we set up filters to remove hyphens, or you can go with the characters only option. We found that out last week. I remove hyphens, remove numbers. I set it up as English words, one to three words. Uh, I don't go over three. One to three gives us all the best domain names. And then I go over to that secondary tab and add the .com. And that's what we have here. That brought us down to 85,000 approximately domain names that we're going to be looking at this week. So we will look to expireddomains.net, finding the best domain names to, to discuss, as well as from there we will... I'm on page two. I'm sitting here like, why does that look weird? Uh, so we're going to look through these expired domains, uh, and then we will also uh, look over on spyfoo.com. We will use that for some free key keyword data. Uh, and then you'll see also, I believe, uh, I have name bio up in GoDaddy Auctions, some of the sites that we look through, and you'll see those as we get going. So here over on expireddomains.net, uh, we have this all ordered by this valuation. That is GoDaddy's valuation of a domain name. And does it actually mean that it's worth that? No, it's, it's not worth that specific amount. But what that allows us to do is order our list by the domain names that are probably most valuable on top. And we can see that here because look at that. Wow, what a huge domain name we have right here on top this week, uh, bobby.com. Uh, I'll click on it. I'm not going to talk about business possibilities, but I do want to show you what uh, this domain name is going for. Currently, just under $35,000, two days left in the auction. And I will tell you, uh, first names like this, like a Bobby, uh, going to go for big money. If you are a Bobby out there that's like, oh, I've always wanted to own my name, this is probably going to be the one opportunity you have to get it. Uh, but it's probably going to cost you every bit of $100,000 to get it. I would not be sure. Actually, I'd be surprised if it does not go for over $80,000. And if your draw is dropping because you don't know that domain names can be $80,000 or more, well, you're in the right place because you'll find out why some domains can be so expensive uh, probably over the course of this, just over the fact that 
domain names are so valuable. They can be the foundation of an entire enterprise. They can be like towing.com is. Towing.com is just a domain name that we built a business on because we had such a great domain name. We just did what it says. So we got Vales here. Anybody out there selling, I, th I believe that's Vales as in wedding veils and things like that. Uh, not interested in that. No, I'm not interested in it. Maybe you are. Uh, here's part of why I'm not interested in it. Over $1,700. I don't know anything about the business. And one of the things I get asked pretty frequently is why do I avoid products? And when it comes to like veils, uh, that's very much going to be a product domain name, right? That's going to be a uh, domain name that is specifically to uh, sell veils or to show a directory of stores that you can buy veils on. Uh, if it was a directory of stores that you can buy veils on, then sure, maybe that's uh, of interest to me. Uh, but most people see this and they go, ooh, uh, I can sell a product. I can sell veils. And as I, I don't deal with products very often. Uh, products create, ah, oh, uh, thank you, Crystal. So Crystal is my wife in chat. Uh, she is a spelling bee champ. I am a horrible speller. And she is saying, that's not how you spell that kind of ale. Thank you. I'll, I'll, shut, I'll shut up then. I have no idea what that is. And I'll just keep on moving on. <laughs> it, Wonder what the heck? What is that? What is Veils? Let's go find out. I wonder if people just think it looks like a good Night Veil, Veil, Eric Veil, Veils. I'm still. I, I still have no idea what a Veil is. Veils. Veils is a noun. It's a valley used poetic term. A veil of like. So it's valley like. Okay, so that one would fall under the idea of a va a brandable then, right? Like that would, somebody wants to call their company Veils. Okay, moving on. Strainer, that would be a product. I can't think of anything more boring than, than that. That sounds horrible. So what we look for specifically is less about products and more about uh, domain names that define an in industry. A domain name that paints a picture in our brain of what, should be on it, uh, you know, like towing shows us towing companies. You know, strainer, if I'm sp if that's the way you spell that, <laughs> maybe I need a spell check on that one. But if strainer is for strainers, maybe you do it for your pasta or for whatever it is you need a strainer for, oil. Um, you know, products require you to make sales of that product. So even if you don't carry the inventory, you're, it's all about selling a product and there's feast or famine that happens with products. Uh, my experience selling spy software, my experience even in uh, one-off services where we did transportation for companies, uh, you know, you'll have some days that you may get 100 orders. Then you have a day that you get two. And uh, for me, that creates so much stress. It creates an anxiety about, am I going to... Uh, is this going to be a huge success this, this time or am, do I have to worry? I don't, I, some people deal with that stuff. I don't. I want predictable business. I want an income that comes in through my domains that is predictable and allows me to uh, have freedom and flexibility without the anxiety and fear that a lot of people have from their businesses. So if we can find a domain name that you can build on that you can grow an income without the anxiety and fear that a lot of times comes with small business, then I, I like that idea. Hopefully you do too. And that's what we're after. We want not just a good business. We want a domain name that allows us to build a business that is <sighs> a breath of fresh air, something that allows us to, you know, stake our, joy on it, our families on it, like we can count on it, even if it's not as much as what we want, it's a predictable amount of money that we can grow. Computer tools, 
Let's check it out. Let's spend a lot of time on computer tools here. So what we're going to do, we're going to pull this one up. This one ends tomorrow, computertools.com, $415 currently. And what I want to do is go over to spyfu.com. We are using the free version, uh, as always. I may end up uh, getting the paid version soon. I just have to look at their terms to make sure that it's okay for me to stream the, the paid version. I don't want to show data that like, you know, how they has login to see the results. I worry that if I stream out results that are not available, that uh, they might not like that. So I'll have to check with them. Uh, computer tools, 400 monthly searches. Uh, let's see. Computer toolkit. We could probably get some of this SEO off of that, but that's really only 900. Not a whole lot happening. Keyword, similar keyword. We're going to scroll down to my next favorite box just over here, the customer or the cost per click. That's also low. And then there's really nobody advertising for it. So not really digging the domain name based on the data. Uh, you'll see why if we find one with great data, you'll see how this one just doesn't, it doesn't really grab. It's, it's, there's really not much happening. Great domain name though, just more of a, uh, more of a, domain name you would probably build a product on or sell some different stuff on. Uh, likely not going to be an award winner by any means. Griefcoach.com. Okay, griefcoach.com. Two days left on this auction, currently at $116. Uh, this would be the kind of domain name that could go for a few hundred dollars or a few thousand dollars. Uh, of course, if you get in the hundreds, it has potential uh, to be a great buy. So I just want to check out what the data on this is. Assuming it's even spelled right. Domains and poor spelling do not go well together. Okay, 90 searches for Grief Coach. Uh, grief Coach certification. Uh, grief Coaching certification. So what we see, what I'm showing with the similar keyword here is, yes, only 90 searches are available with the our exact keywords from the domain name. We took the griefcoach.com, we broke it apart into just grief coach, typed it in, it's analyzing that keyword. It's saying there's about 90 searches for that. That's not many. We want to see significantly more than that. But what it also, what we could see over here is, Grief coach is part of this three word keyword over here. So we could target that keyword and pull up a couple hundred extra searches per month. Again, we're, we're, we're pretty low. That's, that's, that's not high volume. Uh, then we look at these, this third column over here for questions. I'm not a grief coach. Like I don't know anything about the uh, whatever grief coaching is other than whatever I can make assumptions about what it is. Uh, so what content would I ever put on such a domain name? Well, this third column, the nice thing about it is it tells you the main content that you're, that people are looking for. So for example, how to become a grief coach. So if you were to buy this domain name, one of the pages of content that you're going to want to make sure that you have on it is how to become a grief coach. Uh, people are searching for it. So there's 90, 90 searches for that. Uh, what do you need to become a grief coach? So, uh, is grief coaching a lucrative niche? Sometimes I feel people's motivation <laughs> might be a, just a little off, but uh, grief coaching, lucrative niche. People are wondering about the business. Is there money to be made as a grief coach? Let's go check out some of this down here. Okay, numbers are improving. Uh, so as we get into this Google provided data over here, I like to see the cost per click. I definitely want to see it over a dollar. I love it when it gets $2 or more. We're right at it. That's a pretty good, that's like a, a B plus on the cost per click. Uh, the number of advertisers, those two, those two data points are the ones that I use significantly. Uh, I like to see advertisers at 10 or more. Uh, sometimes you'll see that we found domain names here on Domain to Profit that easily will have, I think we've seen 23 one time. Haven't we seen 23? And when you see that many advertisers all willing, you know, that are paying on average a uh, dollar plus a click, that means this domain name has opportunity 
uh, to reach some of those advertisers, giving them an opportunity to reach an audience as an authority, validating what it is that they're doing, uh, which is what we're trying to do. So for example, if you own griefcoach.com and you do a directory of grief coaches, they could have a profile on griefcoach.com and that would give them authority. That would allow them to be validated as a grief coach. That's the same thing that happens with like certifications and things like that. They're just like, how do you know what a good grief coach is? Well, it's certification, licensing, those things are all ways to get authority and validation. Well, having a profile on griefcoach.com would probably help out as well. So that, that's a really good domain name, even though the data doesn't back it up. I'm going to go ahead and just add that to my watch list. Uh, I don't know what I would do with it. That would probably be something I'd put a middle of a road bid in personally. Uh, guessing like a 688 is probably what I'd be looking at, right? Just under like that 700, just to make sure that the price goes up to a level that I think is respectable for a domain name that could be developed pretty well. Uh, not 100% sure on that. Feel free to slide into my DMs over on Twitter and let me know if that's something you're interested in doing. You can email me as well uh, through Domain to Profit. I, just email's not the, it's just a little tougher for me to get to. So there we go. We've looked at Grief Coach, uh, computer tools, eh, great domain, but not so much for development. Grief Coach, okay, how would we build it out? I hinted at it. We would allow grief coaches to build profiles, have custom profiles and things on it. And then we would allow them to show up in our search. They would you know, pay a very small fee or even free to get a profile and then to show up in our search. So when somebody comes to griefcoach.com, uh, they can do a search for remote grief coaches or local grief coaches. And then if they wanna show up on those pages, they would pay some small monthly fee and that's how we would monetize this domain name those monthly reoccurring fees will be very predictable, giving you freedom, flexibility, uh, while the grief coach gets the validation and, uh, and authority from the domain name without having to spend potentially hundreds or thousands of dollars for the domain name. That's pretty much it. Sound kind of good? Great domain name. The more I think about it, the more I kind of almost want to go like, almost want to go even higher. Like I, 688 is my, my ballpark, but okay. Could Strainer be a brandable? Uh, we saw strainer.com. Yeah, anything could be a brandable, realistically. Uh, I think a lot of, we, we get offers to buy like towing.com all the time. Uh, I think many people want the brand. They they want to kind of own it, especially now that uh, in the United States, you can trademark a .com domain name. So towing.com could be trademarked. Uh, with that, anything could be a brandable. I don't know. Isn't there isn't there like a bad guy in like uh, G.I. Joe or something? Wasn't his name Strainer? No, I'm thinking of something, something weird. But Darcy's already chiming in. That is what I love about the community. Thank you, Darcy. Uh, you guys, the, the 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 comments in the chat that happened there. This show is for domain developers and those who invest in domain names. The names and the people that are here are like they could easily be here talking to you as well. So I appreciate that. A lot of good stuff happening in the chat. Let me see. Um, this is a good question. Uh, Stuart's asking about me saying 688 for the bid on like the idea of grief coach being 688. I don't really know. I have no idea. I vary it up. I end a lot of things with 88 just for the fun of it more than anything else. Um, I like to play games with my numbers uh, just because sometimes people will play with proxy bids and try to just get you up to your max bid. And I find a lot of times people, I, I don't want somebody to play with my bids and just make me pay more. Uh, it happens, but th that's why I do 88 is the idea is if they're trying to come under, if they think I'm at $700, well, they might try to bid seven or 690 to get me up close to my max and 688, they would have to outbid me. So now they're in the position of 
uh, sitting there while that auction's happening going, oh, crap, do I really want this domain name? Uh, am I okay paying six ninety for it? So I'm just trying to put them in a position of, do I actually want this domain name or am I just trying to be a jerk? Because, <laughs> yes, they're out there. Uh, and that way, if I make a manual bid to increase more, uh, which sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, they, they, they've already had that, that moment of kind of searching inside to see if they actually want to buy this domain name versus just being a, a jerk. So uh, that's the theory that, that comes off the top of my head. It's for the most part, just a personal preference on bid amount. I don't do like I don't do round numbers very often. I can't give you even an example of a time that uh, it benefited me one way or the other. Okay, back to our list over here. Uh, and if you see something in the uh, in the domain names over here to the side or on your own screen, if you're following along, Feel free to shout them out in chat. I might miss them by a, a minute or two, but we can hop back to them, or I can let you know why I passed on it. Because uh, there's some cases, like, a lot of these domain names are two words that kind of, like, psychic chat. Is that a thing? Sure. Could there be some keywords volume? Sure. Maybe able to make money. Local cafe. Local cafe I'm going to check out. <laughs> but... Some of these domain names, I may just be missing it on accident versus, in some cases, uh, I, I'm passing up on it because it just doesn't grab me. So this one, Local Cafe, I like it because it has lo it's local, and I think people might actually search for Local Cafe. Let's find out. If you're traveling some pay someplace and you might actually, yeah, Local Cafe near me, which if it's a cafe near you, wouldn't it be local? I, I don't know why we search for that, but I know I've probably typed in local cafe or local coffee house. Don't know why I do that, but I do it. So if you watch a show, one of the things I love to see is near me in the similar results over here. The reason being near me indicates that the domain name could be broken down into local content, local directories. So local cafe, if you think of it as localcafe.com, uh, I mean, that could be anywhere in the world. It's a global domain name. But what we see here is people are searching for near me. So when they go to local cafe, they want to see the local cafes near them or in their area. Meaning when you come to local cafe, they want to give their geo information, their location, their zip code, postal code, city, uh, latitude, longitude. And they want to see the cafes near them. Uh, so that means that we can target this, grab another 900 uh, searches potentially for our domain name uh, just because we are local cafe. Boom. Part of that domain name is our domain name. I'm sorry. Part of the keyword is our domain name, meaning we kind of have that authority, that validation, and we can target these keywords uh, using the local legion 300, local legion uh, 300, meaning we just need one paying customer in all the top 300 cities in the United States. The top 300 cities being, uh, there's like 314 cities, I believe, that have over 100,000 people in them. So you better believe each of those 300 cities have at least one cafe uh, that if you get a hold of them and you're able to say, hey, we want you to be able to reach an audience in a new way uh, or give them some benefit they'll give you 10 bucks a month, 20 bucks a month, maybe more depending on the different benefits that you're offering to them. Uh, local cafe, if it was cafe.com, freaking brilliant. Local cafe, not as strong as a domain name, uh, but certainly a little bit of, uh, a little bit of juice kind of happening with the keywords here with local cafe. You see, this is what I don't like though. Look at that. No advertisers happening. Uh, that just kills that domain name. That takes it down to, um, based on the keywords, based on what I'm seeing here, I would personally bid probably like 188, 200 bucks for those who uh, wonder the eight. So around $200 is what I would bid. Uh, this right here, though, the fact that there's monthly searches that we can calculate 
uh, that this domain name would help you reach 480 to like 1500 people. In that case, uh, once you do the work of reaching Google, creating the content, a lot of work to get those 1500 uh, views, but 1500, it still has some juice to it. So you could probably go 500 bucks even, still create it. The ultimate test, somebody asked me the other day, like, how do I know if my domain name's good enough uh, to run a business or develop? Call up some local cafes. Like, if you're thinking about this domain name and you're like, I don't know, maybe I should, maybe I should spend up to $2,000 or something like that. Like, how do you decide? How do you decide whether uh, you it's worth $2,000 on a domain name like this? Well, if you can call up a few local cafes and be like, hey, we own local cafe or we are developing local cafe, you know, some truthful statement. We're considering the development of localcafe.com. And I'm wondering if we do this and we do this, would you pay this to participate in it? It's what I call the if then statements. If we do this, will you do this? If we build this out, will you pay me 20 bucks a month? Something along those lines. And you can experiment to see what is happening? Like, even if they're telling you no, is there a curiosity? Are they curious about what it is that you're you're offering to them? Uh, are are you seeing a need? And that you're you're looking for that. You're looking to feel the presence of that person. Like, are they curious about what you're building? And if so, then it's probably worth a little bit of money and a little bit of time. If everybody's like, no, that's a stupid domain name. Uh, you'll pretty quickly feel that. You, you'll know it. And if you've ever made calls uh, trying to to advertise something, you, you'll you'll know. You can feel it when you call. Uh, part of it's even the when you call and you say, "Oh yes, I'm Drew with localcafe.com. Is the owner available? Do the does the gatekeeper, the person answering the phone, do they assume that you are somebody that should be passed on to the decision maker?" Like if your domain's good enough, you being the owner of localcafe.com or local or whatever domain name, they it immediately they assume that you're important enough to pass on to the decision maker, which in business to business sales, getting past gatekeepers is vital and having a great domain name is part of how you can do that. So hopefully that's not too much of a precise uh, uh, tangent, but helpful for those that are ready to uh, to either invest in a higher price domain name or uh, maybe you have something you're trying to figure out how you're going to start that sales piece. Mobility experts. Let me scroll down a little bit. I, that one sounds like it could be a... Let me come out of a chat before I break off of... Uh, before I break off of the rant that I was on. Let me uh, grab onto this comment just to add some information for those. Uh, local Cafe, according to the Wayback Machine, goes back to the year 20 or 2002. Does uh, SpyFu use data for recent years only? Uh, I don't know the answer specifically to that. Uh, Wayback Machine, for those who don't know, uh, archive.org, they basically spider all the web and hold copies of many of the websites that have existed. So uh, what is happening here, they're looking at that to see uh, that there's data, there's a website that was on it back in 2002, helpful tool uh, to use. Uh, recent years only, the data that we're seeing on SpyFu is going to be data that is probably rather current over the last year for sure. Uh, I don't think they, I, I don't know. I'd have to, let me go back and let me look at SpyFu to see if they, I, all this I believe is rather current. Now, if you're a paying customer, I'm guessing you can grab some old data. But like right now, the, these are all probably very much current the last couple months. Uh, let me see. Do we have a historical chart down here? You can see here a little bit of historical last few months. Okay, down here you could, this looks like it's more of a pay, 
type thing, looking at the organic history of domain names that are showing up for that keyword. Uh, you'd have to explore uh, SpyFu for that. I, I don't know if it... So I'm guessing you're looking at, does this keyword perform over time? Like, or is this just one month? I believe SpyFu is doing a pretty good job of getting a little bit of an average. They're taking some of that seasonality and up and down out of it. Uh, but yeah, you definitely look around and dive into the keyword a little bit more. There are all kinds of other tools available on SpyFu uh, for the sake of kind of keeping things moving on on the show. We don't dive into them, but helpful, helpful, hopefully, hopefully. Okay, let's get back to some domain names. Here we go. Uh, so mobility experts is what I was looking at. Uh, mobility, $12 currently. So put the brakes on. You might be thinking, uh, great domain name, want to bid on it right now. When I see $12 on the GoDaddy auctions, this is when I tell you, do not bid on this domain name until within uh, within six minutes of the dom domain auction. About five minutes, 10 seconds left. That's when you put in your maximum bid uh, for, for a domain name. So let's see what this domain name, what kind of keyword data we have. So what max should you put in on it? Well, maybe I'll be able to tell you, or at least tell you what I would put in on it. Mobility experts. Okay, that's that's not good. I don't like that. Okay, not much keyword happening for it. Uh, expert mobile locksmith, T-Mobile, we don't wanna target that. Okay, well, sometimes they're winners, sometimes they're losers. Not really much happening here. My thought with this is mobility experts. I know some companies that put like handicap ramps in and chair lifts and things like that. They work under like mobility as one of the keywords they target. My thought is there'd be more happening with this, but evidently not. Uh, this, you could still build a directory showing mobility experts uh, by that. I don't know what a defined mobility expert for your business. Uh, okay, we'll move on. Well, dang it. Sometimes I sometimes I do a search into SpyFu and the domain name is way better than I expected. We see that almost every week. It's embarrassing, but that's why we type them in. Then other times I think it's going to be something and then it's not. And that's okay too. Laser eye surgeon. I tend to try to avoid medical ones. There's all kinds of hoops to jump through. Uh, laser eye surgeon, three words. I'm going to just type it in just to see if the keywords, uh, if there's actually some, there's no way I'd spell surgeon right. That's why I'm doing this. Okay. That since the keyword is low, since there's not much happening with it, I'm going to skip over this one. Uh, but essentially that you could create a directory of laser eye surgeons, people that do the LASIK and things like that. Not something I'm necessarily interested in. And I also try to avoid medical directories and things like there's just all kinds of rules, like freaking the rules dealing with medical stuff is just like, I, I hate rules. <laughs> Uh, I'm self-employed for a reason. I don't want rules. Uh, but when you mess with uh, medical stuff, there's all kinds of uh, rules that you'd have to look into. I just know that they're there. Like, for example, reviews, testimonials, uh, due to, was it HIPAA in the U.S.? Like uh, the Healthcare Privacy Act or whatever. Like it it just, it's it's a nightmare. I'm not a big fan of it. It takes what I do typically on my websites and makes it so much more complicated. How does it make it more complicated? Well, you'll have to research it yourself if you just are like, Drew, I'm going for it myself anyways. We're flying through a couple pages now. I usually, as you know, try to get through 200 to 600 domain names. We're currently not even through 200. Local recruit. Okay. 
Let me uh, pop over to chat. If you see something again that uh, I'm missing, uh, feel free to mention it in chat or keep it to yourself. I, not everybody wants to share the domain names that they love. Uh, that is perfectly fine. I love it when everybody's very forthcoming with the community and, and we're all here to help each other out. But I get it. I get it. Not everybody's an, a crazy person like me that's like, well, here's exactly what I'm going to bid. And sometimes I even bid it and show you. Okay, here in a couple minutes, I uh, see that we got 20 minutes left total before 4 o'clock Eastern Standard. So uh, here towards the end of the show, I'm going to show you, uh, before I do the summary, uh, I'll, we'll go over to my Google account and see, I'm sorry, my GoDaddy account. I'll show you the domain names that we bid on last week. Uh, I believe we won at least one of them uh, for a few thousand dollars. So don't know if any of you bid on it. Maybe. Maybe we bid against each other. I think I lost a big one and then won a big one. So maybe we're 50-50. Live on tour? Is that a thing? Like, Let me just type that in real quick. Has a little bit of search. Um, nothing really happening in similars. Yeah. I think I like it when I hear when phrases or something that I've heard people say, like Metallica live on tour now, show in Vegas, or you know, like something like that. Like when it's a phrase that people use in their marketing a lot, it could indicate that that domain name is good for either uh, developing out as a directory. So in that case, you could do maybe a directory of all the different, you know, live tours that are happening, or uh, it could also just be a domain name that's good for investment to where you buy it and then look to sell it to, uh, who knows, Ticketmaster or something like that might be interested in a domain name like that. Whoever it is that puts those commercials on, you know, they're like live on tour. Well, maybe it would be nice for them to say, liveontour.com. You can see them and others simplify their marketing. Rental camera. Hmm. So uh, some of these, I just was like, drsmoke.com sounds like a good blog. Like a like if you were one of those people that uh, like, especially you hypnotize people or something, like that's your brand. You just help people stop smoking. Uh, this is rare.com. Again, great for blogs. If you were just wanting to start a blog on something, uh, like it's, I could see that being a blog about like NFTs or uh, collectibles in general. Like this is rare.com. Now monetizing a blog, if you're trying to make money, uh, that's a, that's a different thing altogether. You have to have lots of, well, you have to have traffic in a specific niche that you can communicate out to somebody that uh, is valuable for them to advertise. Then you find advertisers and things like that. I saw that Alvin, I believe, was in the chat again, and Alvin is a good, uh, he runs a very popular blog uh, for startup and digital, like domains and things like that. Uh, so he is a probably a good example of somebody that monetizes a blog. You find, build the traffic, build the content, well, build the content, then get the traffic, and then once you know your audience, you can find advertisers that want to pay to reach that audience in some cases, you make some pretty good money with it. It's just wow, what a what a difficult, a difficult. It, it just takes time. But if you're passionate about a topic, like I know Alvin is about uh, digital businesses and domain names, uh, if you're passionate about it, it, it's fun. At least most of the time, it's fun. So you can play in your topic. Uh, Coaster Gabi, who's in uh, the chat a lot of times. 
Uh, he's interested in roller coasters. So he's creating, you know, content that's related to roller coasters and he's going the content path. You just got to, it's just not going to be that predictable revenue source. Uh, it just takes time to get going. But having a great domain name is certainly helpful. Demo Builder. I like that. Like, I like that domain name. Let's demobuilder.com ends tomorrow. So this one seems to be kind of flying under the radar. Uh, so again, do not bid on this. Otherwise, you're going to be inviting a lot of domain investors uh, to evaluate it. Uh, just from an, an, a, a, um, just from the perspective of a brandable domain name or a domain name you can buy and resell, this one looks pretty good if you can get it for a couple hundred bucks or less. Uh, demo builder. So what is a demo builder? Uh, we don't know. You can define it. It's a bit of a brandable, um, but I could see apps, websites, things like that, prototyping software, uh, benefiting from a great domain name like demobuilder.com. Anytime you need to demonstrate something, go to demobuilder.com. More of a SaaS type program. It would probably be a tool you would create uh, to put screenshots together to walk people through something. Uh, and we don't we don't get too carried away with that kind of idea. But if you're a programmer and you're wanting to build something amazing that somebody can like pay you some amount of money to be your customer for to use your tool, work hard once, boom, build the tool, and now you sign up customers. I do love seeing this cost per click over two dollars, right? Seven dollars fifty nine cents, and then we see twelve advertisers. So. Even though the keyword data is not there, look at that, only 90 searches, uh, 90 monthly volume, people want this keyword. That just, like, see, like, those three numbers matter to me. I want to see high keyword volume here, up at the top there. But then down here, like, seeing that so many people want this specific, like, they want to target this keyword, and they're willing to pay. Like that is exactly what we're looking for is this here. We're looking for this idea of people willing to spend money to target a topic. This, that means that this domain name is probably worth a little bit, quite a bit of money. Um, let's see, $17 currently. Um, I like that domain name. Uh, if more of an investment, I probably would not develop it, which I try to only buy for development. Uh, but I will probably bid at least that uh, seven hundred dollar range, probably up to nine hundred dollar range. I don't believe because I'm not going to develop it personally, at least anytime soon, it likely won't get the four figures, which I could see that domain name easily going for a couple thousand dollars. It's going to get a star, certainly worth checking out if you're a programmer and wanting to create something. Uh, I could see just some really fun stuff happening on that domain name, demobuilder.com. Great find. Vegetarian diets. Let's check out. Oh, okay. Well, this happens every once in a while. Certainly something to keep in mind. We clicked on vegetariandiets.com and it is no longer available. Why is it no longer available? These domain names are expiring and they're going up for auction. And well, some people catch it at the last minute and are like, hey, I don't actually want this thing to expire. And they pay the money and that's what happened here. Uh, so sometimes domain names can actually even be pulled back all the way through the end of the auction. Horrible when that happens. Uh, used to happen a lot. I don't know if it happens as much anymore, uh, but don't go spending money on a domain name until, or on marketing for the domain name until you are 100% have control over the domain name. Okay, down to the last 10 minutes. I'll leave it here on page three, and we may come back and look at some more domain names, but I think now's a good time. It's a good time to head. I'll check in with chat one more time, as well as we will, uh, we'll go over to my internal uh GoDaddy stuff, and we will check out uh, what I bid this, this next week. Anybody else want to share out what they bid or bought this week? Feel free to do it in the chat. Uh, it's always helpful, like especially if you already want it. No harm in letting us know what you bought at what price, uh, especially if you're going to develop it. Let us know if you're going to develop it. 
Uh, I We can even do updates on the show. I want to encourage other domain builders, other domain developers to, to do this stuff. So if we can help you here on Domain the Profit, develop a domain name, promote it, get some get some enthusiasm going, then so be it. Like we want to do that. Uh, knife builder, uh, Matt is pointing out. You saw that in the chat. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what you bought. Aren't they? There's a name for it. What is the, what's the name of somebody that does a knife? I, I, I'm not sure, but I, I know that Matt is interested in in knives and blades sometimes. So certainly worth looking at. And that's one of those things. Uh, when it comes to expired domains, you can set up filters based on keyword. And if you have a passion, if you have a topic that you love add in those filters and look for domain names and just consistently each week, look for domain names that are around topics that you're interested in. Takes a lot of time. Yes. And he's talking, this is Alvin uh, Brown. He's the one that runs the, the, the blog. It takes a lot of time. That's why I don't do it. I, I, I like my time too much. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. We got another fan. So uh, it's Kickstarter Commerce. I could, I didn't want to guess at the name. Kickstarter Com, Kickstart Commerce is the name of the YouTube channel and the blog that Alvin runs. So uh, always willing to promote as well, or just uh, he he's also a domain developer. He develops, so he also invests and sells. Um, let me see. We got some research popping up for Demo Builder, age 24, 10 months. Yes, certainly good. Didn't buy Bobby, but didn't buy Bobby, just bought a four-letter name with old top-letter domain. I believe right now in the auctions. It, okay, let me see. Oh, yeah. A blacksmith would be who creates knives. Okay. Well, there we go. That makes sense. Okay. So uh, what I want to do, we're going to go over to uh, my GoDaddy auction stuff here. Let me refresh this, get it up and running, and boom. Okay, now I'm sharing out the screen one more time. Let me just look to verify. Okay, so uh, this is my GoDaddy auctions. You'll see right now, currently not bidding on much. Uh, you'll see I got some different stuff happening under uh, the watching list. I'm watching the Demo Builder as well as Grief Coach as well as dog, oh, I, yeah, I missed out on that auction. I wanted to, oh, wait, no, that's actually the one. Yeah, there we go. Let's go over to win. Dogstores.com is the one that I bought last week. Uh, so you remember we were looking for dogs, we were looking at dogstores.com, researching it a bit, and the numbers and the data ended up being way better than what I expected. I thought everybody was searching for pet stores, uh, which, yes, many people search for pet stores, uh, but you'll see here, uh, lots of people do. They, the data look good, and I went ahead and bid on that one uh, and ended up buying that one for just under $3,900. Is it worth it? Probably. As you know, I, as you may know, uh, we purchased uh, Dog Groomer and DogGroomers.com last year for the purpose of development, uh, which means I keep an eye out a little bit for dog-specific domain names uh, that allow me to uh, build a good network, a solid network of multiple domain names in that industry. Let's see what we, that was the one I did win. Let's check out what we didn't. Um, I bid, was in on uh, overreaction.com. That one ended up going for $1,700. Hopefully that's, is that visible? Am I blocking that? Okay, we're good. Uh, commercial drivers, was that last week? Let's see here. I believe commercial drivers was last week also. I took that one up. I think I was number two bidder on that one and missed out on that. So there you go. Not a whole lot. I liked overreaction, but I was, I think I was under a thousand dollars on that one, but oh yeah, a couple domain names. The main one that I purchased last week uh, was dogstores.com, dogstores.com. Not a bad domain name. I, I like it. If I did not own dog groomers, and doggroomer.com and want to move into that industry a little bit, uh, I would not have bought that one. I probably would have maxed out at about $1,200 for dogstores.com. Happy to have it. Hope I get it into my account and it will be one of many that we will uh, hopefully get developed later on this year. Let's see here. Yeah, I, I mean, dog owner. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't, I'm not going to operate a dog store. 
<laughs> that's not my thing. I'm not going to operate a dog store. And when it comes to domain developing, that you, we're not we're not buying a domain name going to open a dog store or open something in in these industries. More specifically, we want to use the domain name, use our role as the buyer and developer of the domain name, just to allow those who are dog stores to do it. So as Matt's saying here, yeah, we just want to let those dog owners find the great little stores, the little nooks of the world that have great products and services for their dogs uh, so they can spend all that disposable income that we do on uh, dogs. So, yeah, not bad. <sighs> well, I think that's about it. Let's do a recap. We'll run down through these domain names uh, one last time to see what we talked about this week. Uh, and that will be how we end the show. So uh, let's see here. Uh, we talked about demobuilder.com. That one ends tomorrow. Uh, currently $17, $17. Hopefully nobody's bidding on it. Yes, see, somebody bid on it. Somebody bid. Once you bid on it, it's going to go up quickly. You definitely, hopefully you're like, it's great that it's there. Put it on your watch list because this domain name is going to go for big money. And the more people that bid on it now, the higher the price is going to go because essentially you're bringing it to the attention of more people like me that want to invest in domain names. So uh, mobilityexperts.com, uh, we kind of, the keyword data was not val you know, was not really working out well for it, uh, but still certainly, there's certainly companies that would love to appear on mobilityexperts.com. It's just not gonna be the large directory type site. Uh, that one ends in six days over on GoDaddy auctions, $12 currently. See here, localcafe.com, $135 currently, ending in five days. Love this one from just the idea of find those little mom and pop little restaurants, cafes, coffee shops, put them up on, put a profile on the domain name, as well as create a local search, implementing the local Legion 300 uh, to create a local directory for those companies, so those cafes near me. $135 currently, that one's going to go for quite a bit more, I'm sure. Uh, nice little cute domain name. Uh, griefcoach.com, singular, meaning that uh, I like plurals for directories, but I love singular for profile collections. So griefcoach.com slash maybe griefcoach.com slash Drew Wash, and that could be my profile, talking about the grief counseling and coaching that I help people with. Uh, griefcoach.com, ending in two days, $116 currently. Love that domain name. Uh, it grew on me. Computertools.com ends in one day, $415 currently. That one's more of just a play for a great domain name, Investable. If you build out computer tools in some ways, sure, go for it. Uh, but it's more of an investment versus a development. Then we also just kind of pointed out the Bobby.com, uh, an expensive domain name that certainly will go for big money because there's lots of Bobbies in the world. And that's 30, just under $36, ends in two days. Those are some of the domains we found over on GoDaddy Auctions this week. Hopefully you pick something up. And yes, Matt, I appreciate it. I always, I always forget to mention this stuff. If you're watching on Restream, make sure you subscribe. And if you're watching live, make sure you subscribe because Domain to Profit we're live. It's a live show. The information and data that we talk about, it may not matter in a week. So you want to watch live. We all the time have domain names that we catch that are expiring by the end of the show. So if you're not watching live, you very well could miss out on the opportunity of a lifetime, the opportunity that you've been waiting for. So make sure you subscribe. And thank you for everybody that has subscribed. We did hit over 500 subscribers last month, or I'm sorry, last week, which was like super awesome. Halfway to 1,000, which is exciting to me because that's one of my goals that I've had. So uh, like the video, subscribe, and uh, you know, hit the bell if you want to make sure that you're prompted if, uh, if I do any impromptu lives. Well, I believe that's about it. This is Domain to Profit. I'm Drew Wash. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for hanging out with me in the community. Uh, you make this the best hour of my week. Domains plus domain developers, all of us getting together, talking about domains. It's a great time. Thanks for joining me. And I will see you next week, Monday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
let me see here. Uh, next week, I think I'm out of, I think I'll be in San Diego next week. If so, anybody in San Diego, uh, well, I'll be out there next week doing this remote. So see you then. See you there. Take care.